from the inner cities to the middle class suburbs, nearly 500,000 teenagers have babies. This is the highest number in the developed world. Over the past year, our producers have chronicled the lives of some of these teens, those who are facing one of the toughest challenges they will ever encounter, how to be a parent and a teenager, too. As experts and politicians across the country debate welfare reform and sex education in schools, Teen Summit went directly to the people who deal with the issue every day. We wanted the girls having the babies, the boys fathering these children, and the grandparents who helped to raise them to tell us why and how this happens and the impact that it has had on their lives. Mm -hmm. For the mothers, it's a struggle to finish high school, hold down a job, and care for the child. For the fathers, it's a constant effort to overcome the stereotypes that portray them as no damn good. Constance Warren and Lydra Lewis are two teenage mothers locked in this conflict every day. They're both single mothers, but one thing sets them apart the support and cooperation of the child's father. Here are their stories. Community leaders, social workers, and politicians are trying to figure out how to educate young people to prevent teen births. But part of the equation is always left out. That's so right, Velma. Young fathers are the other part of the equation. There's a lot of talk about unwed teenage mothers but not too much attention is given to the unwed teenage fathers. So welcome to the summertime. I hope you enjoy our taste tonight. We're doing um, sort of like a Moroccan sort of feel. We have food over there, so when we have intermission, please go eat. We have um, some falafel and how many people hungry? <laughs> <laughs> so I want you to work hard tonight, okay? I want you to enjoy yourself. Because the Word of God says, if you don't work, you don't eat. So I want you to work hard. Um, the Bible says there's a time for everything, a time to love and a time to hate. But today is um, going to be a time for love, and we want to really express that with the artists that we have this evening. Of course, we know there's so many different things of love. Love is long-suffering. How many women out there long-suffering? Long suffering. Carol Dennis is a phenomenal singer. Um, I'm going to try to read some of the things she's done. And forgive me, you know, I'm, you know, I'm from New York. I'm going to try my best to read it right. <laughs> <laughs> 